Hello everyone, so recently I was at a powerlifting meet. Yep, that's right, your boy was at, a f at his first powerlifting meet. Um, it was the Saul Power in... The Saul Power, it took place on October 30 and 31, I competed on the 31, but the weigh-in was on October 30. It was a lot of fun, I had a blast, I met a lot of great people there, including, you know, the legend himself, uh, Saul Salazar. If you don't know who he is, uh, to my knowledge, I believe he's the first guy from Colombia to have um, deadlifted 600 pounds in competition. And he did it at a body weight, I'm not 100% sure if it was 220 or 250 pounds, something along those lines. But still, it's a pretty impressive deadlift for someone his size, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, uh, it was a lot of fun. He was the organizer, he and his uh, partner organize everything and it was a lot of fun it really was so so anyways um yeah so the event started with the squats my opener was 152 and a half kilograms and it felt super light like i knew it was gonna feel light because um the week prior to a competition i'd taken 150 for a set of five so 152 and a half for a single honestly there was literally zero doubt in my mind that in my mind that I had that one in me. So after that, I decided to go to 162 and a half kilos because 152 moved so fast. I had already done 160 before, so I thought I may as well just go for a small PR. I did it. I got it. It moved easy. Now at this point, I was tempted to go to 170 or 172 and a half. But I guess I kind of wanted to keep it on the safe side and made sure that I was able to add to my total. Which, by the way, all of that precaution didn't end up adding too much uh, for reasons that I'm going to discuss in a bit. But anyway, so uh, my third attempt was 167.5 kilos. And after rewatching that clip, I do think I had a little bit more in the tank. I, like, I think I would have definitely been able to squat 170. And I think even 172 and a half was not was not far fetched, honestly. Just looking at the form of my 167 and a half. But you know, whatever it is, what it is. My current one max is 167 and a half kilograms. That's nice. Uh, next year, I'm for sure gonna try to train to get to 180. And after that came the bench press. <sighs> Yeah, I'm starting to see why girls tend to hate the bench press so much. Oh my god, that was a nightmare. So, for my first attempt, I didn't actually measure the the rack properly. If you guys have been to a powerlifting meet, actually, I don't know if this is only in the IPL, um, but whatever, in the IPL, but whatever. So, we measured the height by, at which the bar was going to be set above us. So we could just do it more comfortably. Um, but the way that I measured it, it was on a bench that was different than the one I competed in, which basically resulted in me starting with the bar a bit too high. So I kind of lost some tension in my back and my shoulders, my rear delts, well, mostly my upper back. I just lost some tension um, as I unracked the bar, which basically led to me being uh, getting stuck at the bottom and not being able to press it and just so we're clear my opener was a hundred kilograms I had been able to a hundred kilograms for sets of three before not amazing sure and yeah maybe I should have been a little bit more conservative but I didn't pick an outlandish weight for an opener I didn't pick a PR for an opener I picked something that I was confident I was gonna be able to do but anyway so I didn't have that one so then on the second attempt, uh, I talked with the referee um, and I was able to get them to organize the rack a little bit lower than it was before. This did help because I was able to actually get the bar off my chest and into the, the full lockout. The only problem is that my... If you don't know, the IPL does allow you to go on your... Uh, to, you know, press with your heels up and that's... You know, if you have seen my videos, you know that that is the form that I normally use in my training clips and all. So that is the form that I went with. The problem, however, is that I 
think my quads just took over or like my leg drive just took over a bit too much and I got the lift uh, with two red legs on the second attempt. I think it's because my butt came off the bench slightly or something. I honestly didn't even realize if, the, if it happened. But anyway, I got two red lights. So then I went again to try to save it on the third attempt. I got a lot of encouragement from the other competitors telling me, yeah, you can do this, you got this, come on, you can save it, by all means, go for it. And the exact same thing happened. <laughs> again, I was able to get it onto my chest, press it back into full lockout, but it, I'm pretty sure that the leg drive just was a bit too much. Um, my butt came off the bench. And yeah. <sighs> Anyways, mm. so normally you will get disqualified from that uh, because if you do not have like a one successful attempt at one of at any one of the events, then you're not gonna get a full power total. But let's just say that in the in the IPL it is allowed um, for you to change to quote unquote change the um, event categories that you're going to compete in assuming that there is sufficient room in the other categories and because it was this was mostly an amateur show then i was able to change categories so i started as full power but i ended up uh, competing as a deadlift specialist so yeah all of the precaution that i took on the squat was mostly for nothing i could have gone for a pr there <laughs> whatever i mean it's done uh so yeah uh I needed to regain my confidence, so my first attempt was only 170. I've pulled 190, I've pulled 192, 170 was an absolute joke of a lift. And I got it, like, there was literally zero question in my mind that I didn't have it. Like, it's a, it's a 170 that lift, come on. Um, after that, my second attempt, I just jumped to 185 because it literally moved faster than most of my warm ups. Um, so then I pulled 185, now that actually did move like a working weight, but it was nowhere near the top. So then I moved to 185. Now after that, for my third attempt, I, I was very much tempted to go to 200. But I wanted to walk away with a PR on the deadlift, because I had already walked away with a PR on the squat. I messed it up pretty horrendously on the bench. But I wanted to get a PR on the deadlift, so I didn't to took too many chances and I only went from a 5 kilogram jump. Now, I believe I did took that clip down for a few reasons, but um, whatever, I'm not gonna discuss that right now, but I have deadlifted 192.5 kilograms in the gym before. So I wanted to get an all-time PR that was set in competition, so I just went up for 197.5. My talk process was 195, eh, too little, 200. I may not get it, let's go for 187 and a half. And honestly, it was, a, it was kind of a coin toss. I wasn't really sure that I was gonna get it, to be perfectly honest. I hyped myself up, I went to my uh, room and I got myself uh, whatever I had left of creatine and coffee. Before that attempt, I absolutely, I drank so much coffee that I could, literally could not sleep until like 4 a.m. of the next day. But anyways, I just went all in, I just gave it my absolute best. And I absolutely did it. I pulled a PR, 197 and a half. 
my back did round it a bit, but this point I'm just gonna accept that that is the form that I <laughs> lost me to lift the most weight, and I'm just gonna organize my program around it such that I don't get injured um, during the process of training my deadlift. So yeah, um, that's basically how it ended. The entire event started at around 9 a.m. Well, my first competition was around 11 a.m. because no, actually it was closer to 12. Yeah, it was around 12 for the simple reason that my group was like one of the last ones, one of the last flights to be called. Um, and yeah, and it ended up around 7 p.m. And my deadlift was actually, I would say, decent. Um, so, anyways. Yeah, so I pulled a PR in competition and that's basically how it ended. It was a lot of fun, I met a lot of uh, cool people and I am, um, I mean, if I if I can do it, I'm definitely going to be competing next year. So, um, what did I do leading up to the meet? Well, that would be a video in and of itself because the program is a little bit of a long thing and I definitely changed some things as I saw what was working and what wasn't. So that's gonna change, but let's just say that for my squat on my bench press, I followed more of a linear periodization protocol. For my deadlift, I did something that was more closely resemble, was more like a closely resembling, um, like the conjugate method. Like it wasn't conjugate, I wasn't doing like max effort and speed work or any of that. But like I was building my deadlift mostly through accessories rather than actually just volume deadlifts. So because I just found out uh, halfway through the prep that you know conventional deadlifts were just really killing my recovery for squats, so I decided to just drop them and focus on accessories. And hey, I still got a PR, so whatever they did seems to have seems to have worked quite well. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the week prior I hit some five rep maxes. Um, for the squat on the bench, not for the deadlift. Well, my plan was to hit a 5 rep max for the bench, but I only got a 3 rep max, which was 100 kilograms for 3. And it did 150 for 5 for the, squ uh, for the squat, which just match. Anyways, um, and yeah, and then after that, I hit my openers on Monday, which you can see on screen. I hit a 175 kilogram deadlift, a 100 kilogram bench press, and a 150 kilogram um, a squat. Actually, no, it's 152 kilogram squat. 152 and a half kilogram squat. But anyways, um, yeah. So I hit those and then I took the week off and then on Sunday, well, I took it off because, you know, I had to do a little bit of a water cut to actually get into my weight class. It wasn't that crazy. I only lost like a kilo or two during the process, whatever. It's not a big deal. I'm a big guy. Like, I went from like 91 kilograms on Monday to like 88 on the competition. I was just aiming to be under 90, but I got a little bit de dehydrated by the time I was being weighed, so I weighed a little bit less than I wanted to, but whatever. I was able to refill myself before the competition, so I still hit PRs and everything, which was, which was the great. Um, and yeah, now the week after that, oh yeah, the competition took place in Barranquilla. I live in Manizales, which is a different town. Uh, Barranquilla is quite far away, so I had to actually go by plane there and come back by plane, which meant that it basically took me the entire weekend that for the competition. I traveled on a Saturday, got there, got weighed in, then I ate like a king. Uh, the next day, then I competed, um, then the next Tuesday, I went back to my hometown. And because I had traveled to Barranquilla during that time, I got caught up with a lot of university stuff, which meant that I wasn't really able to um, train properly during that week. I mean, for one thing, I'd gotten, like, I was a little bit tired from the competition. That isn't really an excuse. I still could have trained, but honestly, I just had so much stuff to do. Like, I had, like, two terms that I needed to prepare. I had, a, like, a final term project that I needed to work on. I had a bunch of classes that I needed to rewatch, so yeah, uh, I just couldn't actually afford to train or go to a gym at all during that week. Um, yeah, I'm sure some methods are gonna be like, oh yeah, 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 you should have gone to a gym, whatever, no, look, I did what I could, I couldn't. Anyways, um, <laughs> 
So yeah, uh, two weeks without proper training. Uh, as of me recording this, I just had my first session after the competition. Yeah. I had to train at night because I was busy the entire day, so that didn't help. I haven't taken creatine since the competition. That probably didn't help either. Uh, and the fact that you have pretty much been without training for two weeks definitely hasn't helped. Yeah, I wasn't able to do a block pull right below the knee with 200 kilograms. Even though, even though I already pulled 197 kilograms from the floor. But I, I wasn't even able to do 200 kilograms like right below the knee, like right below the knee block pull. So I've lost a fair bit of strength during the process. I will say my current maxes are probably like 10% less than they were in the competition. So for the deadlift is probably around 180 as of right now for the squat is probably around 150 155 and for the bench press uh, probably 90 kilos to be honest <laughs> anyways um you know it happens life gets in the way so for the time being i'm just gonna focus on expanding my base further getting back to my peak and beyond and yeah just getting a wider base and having more to work off with and then, yeah, just gotta work on getting even better numbers next year. Um, and I don't think that the 500 kilogram total is gonna happen this year because of various things, programming, me, programming mistakes, life got in the way, different factors, but whatever. Um, there is always next year, right? Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm sorry it took me a while to get, uh, to get on with this video. I just, I was kind of busy uh doing other stuff from uni and all but yeah anyways i'm probably not gonna make any other long videos in a while maybe i will make um a detailed video on my programming techniques and my programming ap approach and stuff but for the time being this we need see you guys next time bye bye